Hi pumpkins, I hope you are doing well today. I want to show you how to make a cute little envelope for Valentine's Day. You can open it and close it. He has some Velcro, so it stays closed if you need to. You can use it to put a little card inside for your lover. And he measures five inches by five inches. You can definitely make it bigger if you need because it's only a square. So let's get started with the supplies for the envelope itself. I used a hook 4.5mm and thin acrylic yarn from Yarnby. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. It's called Soft and Sleek and the color is White Sparkle. You have more details and links, Amazon links in the description of the video if you need. For the heart, I used a hook 4.5mm and thick acrylic yarn from Lyon's brand and is called Wool Ease in color Blossom Pink. Then to keep the envelope closed, I used Velcro pads. I bought adhesive ones because I thought he would, he would stick on it, but he didn't because I guess it's wool. So on the back on the Velcro pads, I used craft glue from Helmers. You have the link in the description as well. And like that, it stays together very well. Then you will need a thin sewing thread in white with a sewing needle and some sewing clips. While you are sewing, you will need to keep the envelope closed. And last thing, you will need a good lap counter because we are counting a lot of rows in this pattern. So a good one, the link is in the description. So let's get started with the making of your envelope and let me know if you have any questions. So to make the envelope, you need a thin acrylic yarn and you will make 31 chain stitches to start. So once you are done with your 31 chain stitches, you will make one single crochet in each of them, but skip the last one you made and start in the second one from the hook. So in chain stitch number 30. So you make one single crochet in each of them and at the end of the row, you will have 30 single crochet. Once you are done with your first row of single crochet, you will make one chain stitch to turn and the next row is same thing, one single crochet in each stitches for 34 rows. So it's very easy, you will do the same thing for 34 rows. That's why you need a lap counter if you have one. If not, you just can write it down on the paper. And Voila, we are done with our 34 rows. He went way faster than in reality, but you know, I had to keep the video short. Once you are done with your rows, we will make single crochets along the edges to create like a frame. You know, it makes the edges straighter. So one single crochet in each of the stitches like that. So this is the first edge. I will show you when, when you arrive to the edge that was made with the chain stitches. I want to show you how to make it because we won't crochet in the main chain stitch. So I meet you there. So 
So this was your first edge. Now you arrive to the edge that was made with the chain stitches. You know the first one you've made and you will crochet in the row of single crochet, not in the chain stitch because if not, it will just stretch the chain stitches and it's not very nice. So you will crochet in the single crochets. It was your first row of single crochet. So I will show you. So instead of crocheting in the chain stitch, you will crochet right here in the single crochet. So that's easy. And that's the only edge that you will do like that because that's the only edge that was made with chain stitches. So you have two edges left to make uh, with single crochet and you will see at the end you will have a nice uh, finishing frame. So I meet you once it's over.
So now you are done with your frame, you cut the thread and pass it through the loop to make a knot like that. So this is done for your square. It should measure seven inches by seven inches. Don't forget you can make it bigger if you want a bigger envelope. Just make sure to add chain stitches and add rows to make it square. That's the most important. And now we are at the sewing part. You will use a thin sewing thread. You turn your envelope on the back side. The back side has to face you. And you fold it like that, as I show you in the video. You fold two corners. You, if you have sewing clips, it's better to keep it together. And you fold the other side. So you have three corners that are folded. And you can see it starts creating the shape of your envelope. And you will come sewing like I show you in the video. And I meet you right after. So once we are done with the sewing part, we will come place the Velcro pads. As I said earlier, I thought adhesive Velcro pads will work and it didn't work very well on wool. I didn't know that before. So I used a uh, craft glue to make them, you know, stick to the envelope and it worked very well. Once it's dried, it works very well. It doesn't move anymore, but um, you don't have to use glue. You can sew the little pads. So this is the first one. You place it right here and you will place the second one right here. So now let's make the heart. I used thick acrylic yarn and a hook 5.5 millimeter. So you start with a magic circle and three half double crochet. 
So this is your magic circle right here and a first half double crochet like that, second one and third one. This is the first half of your heart. Then you make one chain stitch and one double crochet. Chain stitch, one double crochet right here. Oh, I'm sorry for the noise in the back, it's a train. Voila, and now three half double crochet, one chain stitch and one slip stitch. So this is the second half of the heart. Two half double crochet, three half double crochet, right here. One chain stitch and one, oh, I close the little bit and one slip stitch right here. Then you cut the thread, pass it through the loop to, to make a knot like that, the cut thread you pass it through the loop. You close the magic ring by pulling on the other thread. And with a sewing needle, you will pass the cut thread, the, the thread that you cut, in the middle of the heart, like that. Pull on both thread to make sure it, it's really close. And you make a knot. Voila, so we will come place the heart like right here. In the center, make sure it's centered. And I decided to glue it again. I didn't sew it, but if you want to sew it, you, you are welcome to do so. Glue, it's, I don't know if you save more time with glue because honestly, you, you have to wait until it dries. So it's up to you. And now we are done with our envelope. I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe for other tutorials like that. And I wish you happy Valentine's Day. I see you very, very soon. Bye bye.